So, realism mod. First things I noticed, you don't have a recharging NOSPA anymore. There's different visual settings, a lot of stuff converted from the 360 version of the game. Few extra cameras are available. The handling is definitely something to get used to. So, in regards to realism mod, they also removed the nitro lights behind the car. Nice cutscene. Realism mods bringing back some of the unused cutscenes. The thing is, once you get into gameplay, it, it works again. So, talking about muscle memory, like I immediately use all of the NOS and then I realize, wait, I have nothing left. <laughs> it's not it's not recovering either. The thing is, in most events, I would actually use all of the NOS in the beginning. Fast acceleration is worth a lot. Yeah, the changed handling is super obvious to me. I don't think the opponents have recharging NOS, but at the same time, the opponents usually don't utilize the NOS to accelerate, really. Most of the time, they're rubber banding anyways. It's not that end. Whoa, the fuck camera is really far. But it's, that's weird. The thing about the handling is that in the beginning the car barely turns and then it turns more strongly than you're remembering. This car really needs 7th gear, holy shit. <laughs> okay, so for the realism mod we have a mix of graphical and gameplay elements. Also we got different cars. There's 41 cars in the garage this time. Oh true, this tutorial is against ROG. Damn, these gears are fucking short. Really gotta be careful not to blow up this engine. Actually, this car might not be able to redline. Yeah, I don't think it can redline. It's so gimped. <laughs> ah, it's so nerfed, it can't even redline. <laughs> this cutscene is just a little bit buggy. <laughs> Definitely have this cutscene differently in my mind. Oh, it immediately continues. That's pretty cool. So, this is the demo of Most Wanted, isn't it? The demo of Most Wanted Restored, oh boy. It's gonna take forever and a half to escape. There's no hiding spots, man. At least there's no visible hiding spots. It took a... Oh, it's still here! <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, it's still here. You just need to know where they are. I'm just too clever for you guys. It's realistic. I guess it is realistic. Not seeing, uh, not seeing the hiding spot. But that means you should know what a hiding spot is. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting wheel spin considering how slow the initial acceleration is. Then the car stops at 267, so can't even go that high anyways. I sold my 7th gear for fuel, okay? It was either racing with no fuel or racing with 6 gears. So obviously, <laughs> I sold gear 7 so I could compete. Man, these condition 1 cops look ridiculous. <laughs> I am 3 so slow. Man, not even doing 300 is kind of weak. Starter cars, a Camaro SS, Cadillac CTS or Punto, SL500. That is the most expensive starter. I don't want it though. I think I'm gonna go with Camaro. That's a rare sight for for this game. I mean, it exists in the challenge series, but I don't think I've played with it in the in the career mode yet. Oh, the lucky group is low. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting challenge. Oh, I think we actually had some massive wheel spin on this car. That's nice. The classic car, what did I expect? Well, that's the point of the uh, realism mod, right? Like, the car is supposed to drive for, like the real life counterpart. The cinematic camera. This is not cinematic. Is this cinematic? This is like a second person <laughs> camera. Nah, I gotta say, I like the, I like the close one, you know, with the, with the chosen field of view. Only 210 top speed. Yeah, everything, everything is slower. It's the realism mod, right? So. Cars are representing realistic characteristics. So did we actually start the chase with the cops or not? Yeah, we did. <laughs> See, the circles are still on the map. It was just it was just in the prologue where it was missing. <laughs> where is everyone? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get my quick escape here with a zero second chase time. Honestly, we should have enough money for some upgrades. I do think that this car is gonna heavily benefit from a spoiler upgrade. It's actually not a bad looking uh, Camaro now. And it's definitely a lot more drivable with Aerodynamics Plus 5. This actually looks fairly similar to my first car that I used while playing Need for Speed Carbon. It was a Camaro with a spoiler. Gonna have a hard time pushing through traffic. Oh, dude, excessive driving is way earlier. <laughs> I got excessive speeding, reckless driving, and speeding all in once. And I... Probably because I was doing 150 in a city or something. <laughs> Even that was more realistic. Also, where's cop number two? Do I really have to take him out to get another one? There should be 100 cops available. <laughs> oh god, why is so fast? Okay, I do have a second lap though. Wait, what the fuck, Sonny? Dude, Sonny is so overpowered. What the hell? I need his golf. Okay, I need to block him off from now on. Especially uphill, the golf seems to be a lot better than my car. Hey, we got the car. Could be good. 
Unlock this car by beating Izzy. Okay, let me show you a trick. If you can't use this car, you can sell this one. And now the game... Haha! <laughs> hey guys, Korea. This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped sent me their perfect package 4.0 grooming kit for all of my body hair removal needs. Let's check it out. You get the shed travel bag, dainty shafting boxer briefs, along with your lawnmower 4.0 you get your crop preserver and reviver to always stay fresh. Bring this trimmer wherever you go, lasting up to 90 minutes on a single charge. It has a USB wireless charging dock and travel lock features so it doesn't turn on by itself. The convenient LED on the front will help you see all the hairs you want to get rid of. This is the grooming kit if you want to avoid cuts and of course you can use it in your shower. 20% off, free international shipping and two free gifts with the promo code KURU at manscaped.com Let's see what upgrades it has. I'm pretty sure it has no nitros. Expansion nitros, good enough. And the car definitely looks better with a spoiler. The rulebook also states the player must always have one car. So since I sold the other one, I have to use this one now. So I have two rules that contradict each other. Therefore I found a loophole. GG. <laughs> Is it driving different? It is actually. The realism mod does change the handling. The way to describe it, the car steers little at first and then it steers more than it would in Most Wanted. Like it's a lot more linear in Most Wanted and this is more like exponential. You know, not much in the beginning but then a lot all of a sudden. I wonder if they fix the turbo. The thing is you usually don't upgrade the turbo because it's broken for the Golf. Like, I would be interested if it fixes it, if it is fixed in this mod, because it, the cars cars get fixed, right? The handling gets fixed and, you know, adjusted for what the car is supposed to be able to handle. Man, these Condition 1 Cups are terrible, dude. They actually made the Condition 1 Cups worse than they already were. That's actually surprising to me. How can you create a mod that has more stupid Condition 1 Cups? I don't understand why it got nerfed. Like condition 1 was already retarded. They don't seem alive at this point. Like there's no IQ left in these guys. If you flip a coin for your car's steering, you probably get closer and faster to me than those guys do. Oh, how much bounty do we get from the Fat Rhino though? 25? Okay, okay, now we're, now we're talking. Okay, that is not balanced, holy shit. Condition 1 is a joke bounty-wise, and then Condition 2 gives you 25k, instead of 500. <laughs> Stocks. Okay, we can still try to abuse the traffic cars. Ah, uh, that doesn't work either though. No, 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 no. Flipping cars is gonna be a big, big no-no. This is gonna be hard to pull off. Honestly, I think I wanna go for the second roadblock. Extra bounty is super helpful, but I have not understood yet how the cops work in the realism mod because there are supposedly 100 cops at the beginning of this chase. Where are they? Like we have a chopper on us, but not a single fucking cop, right? Like something, something's wrong with this mod's cops, if you ask me. Okay, now the cops are spawning in, but it still didn't <laughs> trigger a roadblock. Wait, cross? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to try to take out cross, man. And I'm waiting for the game to actually have... Oh, we actually managed. Oh, you can't do flip kills anymore. Oh, flip kills are turned off. Dude, Cross is even more brain dead than usual. Look at the minimap, man. What's Cross doing? Okay, we can't flip cops and we definitely cannot kill them by by force. There's the Elise. I wonder if they rebalance that car. You know, maybe maybe it's not as good as it used to be. The Mazda Speed Arc 8. Oh, wow, the Mazda Speed is actually tuned. <laughs> it has more performance. You can get a street version of the M3. Comes with a lot of handling. I honestly think that the street M3 could be quite decent. Also, it's rear-wheel drive, so it should be quite obviously different in regards of handling. I gotta say, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a new, a new body kit for the M3 for a change. Oh, the beta one. I think I like the beta one simply because it's different. It's also available in carbon fiber. Okay, I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> Mia's M3. <laughs> How fast is Mia's M3? Just make a complete bullshit YouTube title. <laughs> How fast is Mia's M3? Welcome to the era of Mia's M3. Wow, that, that has some funky hand. That's some really funky handle. Look what my car is doing when I steer. Like, it gets into a drift by itself. Interesting. Now, finally, a car that does more than 300, but it does have some really interesting handling. <laughs> I wonder, how does it feel without aerodynamics tuning? This looks like a body kit from Shift, if I didn't know any better. He has a very drifty M3, and what the hell is up with the, with the ride height? 
I would say the cops are really weirdly separated between the heat levels. Like, the progression of the cops makes no sense. It really surprises me about this mod, like how weird they played around with the cops. The <laughs> 3 me edition, you like it? <laughs> Since the car came in this color, I saw my I saw an opportunity. What if Mia was the protagonist of this game? <laughs> okay, what's new? The Mercilago. No, M3 CSL edition. The GT2 actually made it to uh, to the shop. I actually might buy this one. This is a lot of a lot of familiar cars, but I'm usually interested in driving the ones that I haven't used yet. Even though this is the Mazda Speed version. I think I think we have a winner, guys. I want the GT2. Okay, I can I can slam in a random spoiler because I need aerodynamics tuning. Look at my cash and look at the cost of the upgrades. <laughs> okay, we're gonna save money on the brakes though. Just slow us down. And they definitely rob our, our wallet, man. Okay, doesn't seem like the customization is working on this car. Not even, not even the roof scoop. Let's see if vinyls are gonna work. No. Maybe something unique? Ah, oh, unique does work though. There's some random, there's some pretty random stuff. Not gonna lie. Man, these matte colors can be quite extreme. I like that they actually changed the color of the vinyl. What was my... Oh, there's my camera change button. <laughs> this, is, this is such a weird camera. I mean, I like far cameras, but this is going a bit too far. Get it? When it comes to the handling modifications, it definitely gives you a different feel than what you're used to in most wanted. Especially rear-wheel drive cars that really like to oversteer. It's like input lag. Yeah, but it's not input lag, as you say. Because the car does immediately react to, in to your steering input. It's just that the car gets a lot more grippy towards the end. But you start steering, then all of a sudden, see see how, how much the car gets like to the side? It's pretty intense. It's like, it's like you can't stop steering once you are already cornering. Which is not what you usually do in most ones. Like, I can let go of the analog stick and I even have to counter steer because the car like oversteers so much. Let's try 6, I guess. Actually, we had 6 yesterday. Let's try 7. I might, I might use it on the next chase, though. As I said, cops are kind of weird and very rare in this mod, so getting milestones is a bit of a pain, honestly. So they definitely have to rework the cops somewhere. Like, just just the default cops are better than this. That, that in my opinion, is always a big issue. If you change the original settings, then you make it worse. Like, putting work into something and making it worse, it's, it's sad. Holy shit, this ultimate transmission is insane. Just did 430, man. That's actually a higher top speed than the developer M3 that I had. No, the Junkman parts are not better than ultimate. Those are additional parts. For example, this car has Junkmans and the ultimate parts in it. Okay, we might have, we might have broken the car a little bit. Holy shit. If you have the Junkman gearbox, you also want to put in the Junkman ultimate upgrade. So, downgrade. Let's see what this car feels like. Oh, I can totally go out of bounds, right? No weird trigger is gonna stop me from doing it this time. The funny thing is, some graphic mods change how the world is rendered. So all of this looks slightly different. Dude, I don't know where I need to go. Dude, where are the rocks, man? That's a blind guess here. Where are the rocks, man? <laughs> I give up. Not doing out of bounds this time. Shit. <laughs> that was a 10 out of 10 landing right there. Maybe not as intended as I wanted it to be. The world is rendered slightly differently because of the mods. So I had no idea where the rocks were. I had nothing to orientate on. Well, we're still gonna have to wait for the 5 minutes to pass. I'm not even sure if there's any alternative way to get out of bounds. But if I don't see the rocks, I can't, I can't do it. I guess I could do the old strategy. I could do the old strategy for out of bounds instead of the new one. I'll give it a try. The mod really messed something up with the cops. Like, why, why are there no cops, man? You know what I mean? Let's try, let's try the other strategy. The old strategy approaches the rocks differently, and I might be able to see them from the old, from the old side. It's usually with any kind of graphics mod that the world is rendered slightly differently for one reason or another. So let's see if the old strategy still works. If not, we're just gonna wait five minutes until Mia calls. That's why I need to look backwards. Otherwise, you get an infinite respawn. So. How did the old strategy even work? Oh, I remember now. You follow the road until you get to here, then you drive outwards. Yeah, the rocks are gone, man. <laughs> uh, okay, now I can see them. Now I can see the rocks. It's about here. Yeah, old strategy still works. Because obviously the barriers don't disappear. So the old strategy, old strategy still works because I can see the rocks. Totally realistic gameplay. 
Holy shit, the top speed on this car is still crap. Now Racer's upgrades didn't even work on this car. Like it's still as shit as it used to be. It might have a little bit more performance parts, but the gearbox didn't get an upgrade. Oh, well, I hope I'm fast enough. Okay. <laughs> that was a pretty long all bosses run. 